Hello guys, welcome. You probably didn't expect this video, did you? Welcome to a vlog. Yes, a vlog. And as you guessed from the title, it's the hunt for Apple devices, all Apple devices. And yes, what happened essentially, I made a lot of deals yesterday. Uh, actually finished up three deals at exactly the same, almost the same time yesterday. Now you might say, what happened? How did this happen? Well, the old, oldest deal that I was in the process of making, or let's let's start like that. I, for quite some time, I was on the hunt for older Apple products because I just love collecting them. Since Apple is a big part, a company, tech company that I like quite a lot, and especially I love their older products. So I decided, well, I want some of their older products as well. And I always, since I have have had quite a, a lot of iPhones in my time I thought it would be great to have like like the iPhone 3G 3GS like the phones I'd never experienced just to feel how how the first, how it all began if you know what I mean as a tech enthusiast that's really interesting to me so I wanted to get those and I also because Manfred and I actually was watching a video from Crazy Ken and he um, made a video actually upgrading or making or swapping the OS on an Apple TV first gen. He actually put Mac OS onto an Apple TV Gen 1 and I found that really interesting. So that's why I uh, said to Manfred, hey, wouldn't that be cool? And I told Manfred, you know what, I, I kind of want to have this first Apple TV, so how about I'll get it? I'll find a deal and we can do that then. And now fast forward to, or uh, fast back to, fast back, can you say that? <laughs> uh, going back to yesterday, I actually was on Wilhelm again on this trading platform that we Austrians have. And I was searching randomly for old iPhones. And then I found this, like this random deal actually, which happened to be at the exact city that I live in. So not even like in Graz or something where I have to drive an hour to. But actually, in, here in Hartberg, for actually for sweet deals, I'm getting an iPhone 4. Now you might say, David, what are you on about? You have an iPhone 4, why would you buy another one? Well, the fact of the matter is, I lost it. <laughs> and it's my first phone ever, my first smartphone ever, and that's why I kind of hold it dear to my hold it dear to my heart, because it's like it's the first iPhone I ever had, and I really want to have it. I got it! <laughs> iPhone 4, just looking at it, damn, that is really mint condition, let me just have a look at it, I forgot how this phone looks, wow, okay man, there's one scratch, I'm just noticing there's one scratch on the back, but damn, the front is perfect, like there is no scratch at all, wow, she wasn't lying, mint condition, damn, now the interesting part, What is that? Wow, she even thought about, she even thought about setting the phone up. So I can already see that the phone works. Screen also looks perfect. I can't see any like, because all the retina screens started to have this problem where you could uh, see the display, uh, like having a little yellow tint at some corners. And as far as I can tell, oh my God, like honestly, mint condition iPhone 4 and I forgot how awesome this phone looks. <laughs> I got it, iPhone 4, so the first deal was a success. We even got uh, the whole, even though I have this still, I have the packaging, but I have it. She even gave me the EMI. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, cool. Even packaged up air, uh, yeah, ear pods. A very good looking loading cable. Hey, yes, I knew it. I, I was thinking it can't be that this because the old Apple loading cables always tend to break somewhere. You can see here it broke a bit. But I mean that's fine. So yeah, another 30 pin connector. And I mean I have to say, because those cables really if you use them quite a bit, they always break and are in bad condition. But this cable is in good condition, I have to say. So yeah, she wasn't lying. Very good condition iPhone 4. Let me just put everything back together. So success! very quick straightforward yeah the box is a bit scratched up but i have to box in better condition so that doesn't matter but i mean i have another box so that's nice oh damn it's a 16 gigabyte i just realized 
I think I had an 8 gigabyte. Oh, nice. I have a 16 gigabyte iPhone 4. I just realized. All right, that's a couple of days later now. And that was very casual, me leaning against the wall here. But um, I'm doing something right now to the iPhone 4. What? Let's find out. So not only am I watching a Dark Souls 2 Let's Play, or Rage Montage, but I'm also downloading the IPSW of iOS 7.1.2. Now you might be asking, David, isn't 7.1.2 the software that is installed here on the iPhone 4? Yes, you're absolutely right. Now, why would I download a software for or the IPSW for software that's already on this phone. Well, that's good that you asked. <laughs> I am right now in the process of downgrading this phone to iOS 5.1.1 without any SH blobs, SHSH, SHSH blobs. And if some of you know something a bit about downgrading, then without SHSH blobs, it's a bit harder, it's way harder to download, uh, to downgrade your phone because Apple really doesn't like you to downgrade the software on your phones. But on the iPhone 4, it's thankfully not that hard. And I'm doing this right now using Pulvia. You can actually see it here, I think that Pulvia, it's called Pluvia, sorry, Pluvia, it's called. And if everything works, we should soon have an iPhone 4 that's running one OS that I really started with iOS 5 and I'm really since this is the retro feels phone for me since it's the first smartphone I ever used I also want the, wanted to have a retro OS on there so that's why I'm getting iOS 5 and also because it's running way better than iOS 7 on the iPhone 4 I'm still thinking maybe Apple shouldn't have supported uh, the iPhone 4 with iOS 7 I mean it's great that they did but performance on the iPhone 4 is, a bit, uh, you know, it, it's qu lagging quite a bit. That's something that never happened afterwards with other iOS releases that they lag that intensely on, on smartphones or on iPhones in general. But yeah, anyway, iOS 7 was released for the iPhone 4, as you all know. And we're right now in the process of getting the IPSW for 7.1.2. So what this program is doing right now is creating a custom IPSW for iOS 5.1.1 and as soon as it's done we can downgrade so yeah I'll give you sporadic updates on how we're doing by the way I also again I have to mention in what pristine condition this iPhone 4 is first of all like having this phone finally again it reminds me of what an awesome design the iPhone 4 had I mean the stainless steel border I think the the weight is perfect the heft to it it feels really premium it's pro and still in my opinion the most premium feeling iphone ever created and also i think the most well designed iphone ever created i just i just love everything about it from the silver camera ring ah, it's just ah. <laughs> it's apple design at its best that's why i'm really hyped actually for the iphone uh, 12 12 release because they're supposed to go back to this design language which i get because it's an amazing design all right now it will get interesting the ipsw has just finished creating and now we'll actually try to restore it so we'll go ahead and doing that with one hand isn't that easy but i'll pull it off oops so point slash restore about this H. Oh, I did a mistake. Nope, 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 nope. Yep, I'm sorry. Oh, it even says it. That's cool. The program even tells me in the terminal what I did wrong. That's very nice because I forgot. <laughs> Typical me. I, I press enter again without doing what I actually didn't do before as well. <laughs> All right, let's do this now. There we go. And now we have to add the patched IPSW that we have here right now and add it into terminal. So I'll try to do this now with one hand and you pull it off. And now normally if I hit enter, can I connect to your iPhone? It needs to be in the Oh, oops. We haven't put the iPhone into the view mode yet. We'll do that. Okay. So I'll do that now off screen because doing that with one hand is impossible. <laughs> be right back. So here we are again. The iPhone is now in DFU mode, so we're going to close the Finder again. And now, once again, we'll try it again. Sorry for the shaky cam. 
but I can't see the keyboard in behind the phone. Whoops. I did a mistake. Like this is a very spontaneous. And restore.sh. Gonna add the patched IPSW again. And now normally. Yeah. And Apple's trying to hinder us again from doing it, so yes, allow. <laughs> and now we and now it's gonna try to hinder us even more, so we press arrow up to get back to the command that it blocked at first. I'm gonna say now do it. And it's Apple's gonna again try to hinder us. You're really sure? And I'm like, yes. And then here we are. It's going ahead. No, 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 no. Oh no iTunes is trying to stop us, so we'll have to say, no, no iTunes, no, you just do it, <laughs> you just do it, all right, so again, Apple's trying to hinder us, so you, if you want to do this too, you will encounter this a lot during this process, because Apple tries to stop you, because Apple's trying to stop you as much as they can from doing this, because I mean, the iPhone, the, um, as you can see, it's opening up again. No, 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 don't hinder me, stop. <laughs> um, as you can see, uh, the Mac doesn't know, of course. Oh my God, it's actually working. Uh, I am amazed. Oh my God. Sorry, the stop mid sentence, but look, Parrot Geek Software is doing something that looks very promising. Oh, I am hyped. I am hyped. This looks like it will work. Oh my god, oh my god. That's the old... Uh, uh, um, I can't talk today. I'm so excited I can't talk. That's the old Apple logo from iOS 4 and 5. Oh my god. And 6 I think also too. And we have a progress bar. But that's probably because that's the first time that it boots. Now, I don't know what will happen during this boot. But as you can see we have a progress bar. We have the old Apple logo. The old sound! And, oh, this will be so retro. You have my first reactions right now to this. Oh my god. The old one. Give me iOS. Oh, the old Eddie. <gasps> oh my god. Like, you guys can't imagine right now what I. Oh my god. Like, if you have also used an iPhone for quite some years. You'll know exactly what I'm feeling right now. Oh my god. Oh, the very old iOS 5. Oh, that's so awesome. Like, you guys can't imagine what I'm feeling right now. Activating iPhone. No, I need to put in this. <laughs> I mean, that's not a problem. I can just do it. But oh, do I really have to put in that? Come on. No, oh, I got there. Okay, let me just quickly get my SIM card into the phone again. <laughs> Be right back. All right, so I've taken out the SIM card tray, or I'm in the process of taking it out, out of the very smudgy <laughs> iPhone 4. But hey, that's part of the experience. <laughs> um, and I actually got myself, and especially for buying older phones, those SIM card adapters actually were, I have this box so that you can find out about this company, very nice company actually, Mobilock, and for 5 euros you get a full 6-in-1 pack where you can have all the adapters for all the different kinds of sizes of SD cards, and those essentially just extend your normal, as you can see it's in there right now, your normal nano SIM cards to fit your older phones that actually use uh, smaller sim cards so here we have now the micro sim adapter so this was a sim card size back then with the iphone 4 and now we'll just put in our nano sim i'll try to do this with one hand maybe i can pull it off yep and it just slides into the adapter and with that adapter you can just take the sim card flip it around and it looks like a normal a1 sd card uh, sd sim card and it perfectly fits for the SIM tray, with the SIM tray of the iPhone 4. And with that, well, hopefully I can pull it off with one hand. You can just slide it in. And as I know, nice camera work. <laughs> and now, oh, this old iOS 5 
Oh my god, leave the old song, and there we go. And now, as you can see, I mean, why am I hiding the penny when I mean, it's not like you can use my SIM card. <laughs> and now, if we try again, it'll just work. And by the way, it's Juan Juan, just telling you. Why didn't I? Whatever. You know what's kind of crazy about all of this is that iOS 5 was the OS that actually introduced iCloud. So, um, no, you, you don't have to use iCloud. We don't have to use iCloud for the iPhone 4 right now. And there we go. And Oh my god, you can't imagine the retro feelings right now that I'm having. iOS 5 with the... wait. Oh, probably. Ah, there it is, wait, wait, how did I do that? Wait, wait. No. The old app switcher, yes! That was... That was what Apple called multitasking back in the days. Like back in the days, uh, you people, all the new, the, the young kids that appreciate that, oh, my iPhone 11 is so slow, I need the new iPhone 12. Guys, and to say, oh, the iPhone 12 cannot do multitasking. Well, guys, this was multitasking back in the day. That's what multitasking was back in the day. You know, you just saw your apps down there. You could also have, wow, that was so amazing and revolutionary back in the day, you know. You could swipe to the left and you would have quick access to music and the media player. You didn't even know what was playing, but you had the access. <laughs> and you could also, is that rotation lock? Yeah, that's rotation lock. Uh, and I remember back then, you know, back then in iOS 4, the music app was always called iPod. And I remember when this was renamed, because when I actually installed iOS 5, I didn't yet fully care. Like, it started with having iOS 5 that I really cared with iOS upgrades and with technology. And that's why I hold this iPhone in general so dear, because it was for me the big starting point to get into technology. And I remember the only thing I noticed back then when I installed iOS 5 was, wait, where is the iPod? Where is the iPod? <gasps> It's called music now. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. The old music app. Oh my God, yes. Oh my God. The old music app. And let's look at the calendar. That's the calendar. I can't even remember anymore. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah, that's really retro. With the photos app. I mean, there is no photos in here yet, but uh, all the skeuomorphism. <laughs> Look at the look at the notes app. Yeah, back then, yes, yeah, realistic notes as you can see. Oh my God, let's just have a look here. Yes, <laughs> yes. Now again, if you probably if you don't haven't used iOS five back then, you probably don't feel this as much as I do. But oh my God, I'm getting the retro feels right now. So yeah, guys, we now have iOS 5 running on the iPhone 4, and it's running really good. I mean, iOS 5, there you go, by the way, iOS 5.1.1, yes! So yeah, and that was also a big reason for me for actually doing this, apart from being a big retro project for me. Just in general, the performance on iOS 4 and iOS 5, and also iOS 6, are really good on the iPhone 4. It's just with iOS 7 that it started to lag behind. So that's why I also wanted to have iOS 5 on there. But yes, now it's actually finally my full on retro iPhone. So yes, this was finally a project success. Not only did I get my first ever smartphone, the iPhone 4 back again, I also have it now running one of the first OSs I ever used in the Apple ecosystem, iOS 7. So yeah, guys, I'm going to start playing around now with iOS 5 a bit. So I hope you enjoyed this little trip down memory lane with me. And yeah, if you have any questions about how I got this phone or how you actually downgrade your iPhone 4 from iOS 7.1.2 from the newest supported OS on this phone down to iOS 5.1.1, then just write in the comments and I'll tell you. Maybe if a lot of people actually ask, I'll make a video about it, a separate video about it, because it's actually really easy. So yeah, guys, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Till later.